Sorry, free press. Hey, Donovan, uh, what have you been working on in this long, long off season? And kind of what has been your focus, focus as far as getting physically stronger probably, but also as far as you've been able to work out on ice? Yeah, I think uh, this off season. I mean, we've had six months or so to focus. So I think it's just put on weight, put on some muscle. So there's no reason that uh, should be getting pushed around out there. But I think another thing I really tried to focus on was just my in tight skill work, just being able to control the puck in little areas, I, being able to break the puck out in little situations, hit middle, little things like that. And shot release is also something that I've kind of focused on. And uh, those are the main things that I've kind of tried to focus on throughout this whole quarantine. How about just your reaction to being drafted by the, by the Red Wings? They're obviously in a, in a rebuild and there might be, you know, some openings in, in a year or two for a young prospect. Yeah, I was actually, my TV was delayed and my uh, Kitchener trainer texted me saying congrats. So I knew something might've been up, but to be drafted by them is such an honor. I mean, um, I just hope one day I can make them proud and be on their team eventually, but it was just it's such an honor to see my name go to the Detroit Red Wings. So did you find out from your trainer who drafted you or did you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. He texted me saying congrats. And I said, what was it going? I asked him what was happening. And then that's when the TV came on and saw my name going to Detroit. So I could put two and two together. So. Okay. Thank you. My next question is from Ted Colfin with the Detroit news. Hey Donovan, congratulations. First off. But secondly, it's like how difficult has it been yesterday and today? I mean, is it kind of nerve-wracking wait, sitting around and waiting to get picked? Yeah, I thought the first day was kind of harder than today was. I mean, seeing all those, my buddies going, I mean, it was it was good to see them go. But, I mean, I think kind of it was my first experience of the draft. So it was a little harder than today. But today I, I just kind of tried to come in positive. I didn't – it's just a number to me. And the, the real work comes in after that. So, But uh, it, it's definitely difficult kind of – going through that process, not knowing where you're going to go, but I'm glad I happened to go to Detroit. So it was a, it was a great experience for me. Hey, describe yourself as a player. I mean, what, what should, what should wings fans expect from you? I um, think I'm a bit of a old school defenseman with a little bit of new school. I think I'm a pretty tough, gritty kind of guy, but I think I add in the offense. So I think I got a little bit of the old age hockey in me and the kind of new era of offensive defenseman. Sounds good. Hey, thanks a lot and congratulations. Thank you. My next question is from Max Boltman with The Athletic. Hey, Donovan, you were talking about uh, adding offense. I'm curious, how, how do you feel you create offense on the ice? What, what do you use to do that? I think it's just kind of jumping in the uh, rush late, man, and just moving pucks quick and just kind of hopping in where there's an open lane, just kind of not overextending plays or kind of going out of my comfort zone. That's when I kind of find I get up more offensive chances, but just I always kind of relate to this a simple play, simple passes, tape to tape, and that's kind of where the offense will lead from. Cool. And then which aspect of your game would you say you take the most pride in? Uh, I'd say my skating. I think that's what I've been most known for, and I think that's definitely something that I pride my game on. And But I think kind of just watching me or just if you see clips of me, I think the skating is the one thing that really pops out to me. Did I read you, you have some Cuban descent in you? What's the, what's the backstory there? Yeah, my dad was born in uh, Cuba, met my mom through soccer, and uh, she ended up sponsoring him to come over to Canada. So my dad was born in Cuba. Have you ever been or? No, I've never. Yeah, cool, cool. Well, thank you. No problem. All right, our next question, we'll go back to Ted Culpin with the Detroit News. Hey, Dan, just a little bit of a segue to what I asked before. I mean, how is, were you planning on going to Montreal for the draft or not? I mean, I'm just wondering how has this virtual draft kind of been for you? I mean, I mean would you have, were you planning on you and your family going to Montreal for the draft? Yeah, I was going to plan on going to Montreal. So, I mean, it was a tough pill to swallow when it was going to be virtual. But at the end of the day, it's the same same goal. And I just wanted to get drafted. So it didn't really matter to me where it was or when it happened. I just wanted it to happen. Gotcha. Hey, thanks. No problem. All right, looks like that's uh, all the questions we have for Donovan. Uh, we're going to move everyone back in the waiting room. We should have uh, Emil Vero in about five minutes. Um, and Donovan, thank you for joining us, and welcome to the Red Wings. Yep, thank you.